today we are seeing a very unique phenomenon around the debate of sustainable development and sustainable development goals. It has to do with the notion of stakeholders. Who has a stake on sustainable development? In the end, the whole society has a stake on sustainable development. Private sector, government sector, and now civil society. Civil society is so active and it's getting more active because of the democratization of information and social media. So today we see how important it is to listen to a different perspective of sustainable development, a perspective that comes from everyday life, from everyday challenges, from everyday needs. This is something that should not be stopped. It should be expanded. It should be uh, actually create more incentives for this to happen. In terms of climate change, we see, for example, that one person in the Nordic countries, Greta Thunberg, is able to mobilize civil society behind these sustainable development goals. But it's not only just an activity, it's also a way to create new concepts, new morality, new ethics, new debates. You know, when someone says, you are constraining our future lives, we are creating you know, a new array of debates around that, and that's how civil society has been bringing new value system, new structures, new ways of doing it. Today, also, we need to ask, how is it that civil society, governments, and the corporate world will do it together? Today, we don't have a blueprint of, of how to govern sustainable development with these three great stakeholders. And this is a very important one. But there is another part of civil society I want to mention very explicitly, which are indigenous peoples. You know, sometimes civil society is urban civil society. It's, it's those who are able to go to the streets. It's those who are able to have computers and have technology to be able to demonstrate, to be able to give their opinion. But to me, if we don't really connect to origin, the origin of the debate, the origin of knowledge, the origin of wisdom behind the debate of sustainability, come from indigenous people. You know, this concept of the earth as a unity, this concept, this cosmovision, you know, that everything is linked to everything else, it comes from indigenous people. So I like to pay a tribute to indigenous people and at the same time say it is crucial that we give all the space, all the resources, all the opportunities to maintain, to preserve and to enhance indigenous knowledge that today is you know, sort of disappearing little by little because our society doesn't have the sensitivity and the sensibility to understand this knowledge, to perceive this knowledge and to have this knowledge. So we still have the opportunity to preserve the knowledge of indigenous people and this is something we have to put it in the first part, in the first layer of the strategy on sustainable development.